What is going on, everyone? How about we talk about the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is called the Queen City because it's named after King George III's wife, Queen Charlotte. That's King George III is his name. She's not like his third wife. I think she was his only wife. Anyway, Queen Charlotte died 200 years ago this last November, 2018, and we're still talking about her. That woman must have been amazing. I read an interesting stat about North Carolina. It stated that 60% of high schoolers not from the South don't realize North Carolina is a Southern state. I guess if you've never had a geography class, looked at a map, or used your brain for anything other than Instagram or Snapchat, this is understandable. And stop typing. You'll just embarrass yourself. Yes, it does have the word north in it, but it's still a southern state. Google it if you have to. Charlotte is a major city and commercial hub for North Carolina. It is home to almost 750,000 Southerners. Currently, they have a lot of people moving into Charlotte, and for a lot of good reasons. But Charlotte isn't for everyone. If you're thinking about moving to the Queen City, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Charlotte, North Carolina. Number 10, a growing population. Charlotte is an ever-growing city. About 60 new residents move in every single day. And 38 out of those 60, the first thing they say is, hold on a second, this is a southern city? Because of those 60 new residents, the city will get overcrowded really fast if the trend continues. It's estimated that there will be an extra 1.8 million residents in the city by 2050. And that's not too far away. It's like 30 years from now. The good news is their suburbs are kind of lightly populated. A lot of single houses on half acres of land. So they got a little room to grow. The thing is, do they want to? Number nine. Crime. Crime in Charlotte keeps getting worse by 1% every single year. There's an average of 12 crimes per 100,000 residents with an overall crime rate that's 63% higher than the national average. While you're in the city, you have a 1 in 23 chance of being involved in a crime. The thing is this, Charlotte has some poverty stricken neighborhoods and with that you get some crime. So let me help you out. If you see a place that has really cheap rent, make sure it's not in one of these neighborhoods. Arbor Glen, Westover Hills, or Pinecrest. Your life isn't worth cheap cheap rent. Number eight, the job market. It's never a good plan to move to a new city without nailing down a job first. You really need to obtain a job before moving to the Queen City. Trust me on that one. The unemployment rate is 3.6% as of December 2018. Now, that is not terrible, and I get it. That's until you look at the unskilled worker rate, which is far worse at 7%. This place has all the fast food and retail workers it needs. In Charlotte, it's a good idea to have some math or medical skills. Some of the major employers include Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Carolina Health System, Novat Health and Incorporated, and of course, finance company Vanguard. The city is very much a finance and healthcare town. And stop typing. They have other companies besides the ones I mentioned, but it's an eight to 10 minute video. I don't have time to list all of them. I always get that in the comments section. It's always something like, you forgot Chuck's vegan steakhouse. It's the largest vegan steakhouse in the country. Don't get it. Number seven, NASCAR. Nothing says Southern state more than NASCAR. Charlotte is home to one of the main headquarters, which leads to almost every resident being into the sport. If you're moving to Charlotte and you aren't already a NASCAR fan, you should brush up on the topic before your neighbor corners you for an hour long history lesson on NASCAR. And if they have a big flag in the front of their house that's black with the number three on it, don't say anything stupid about that flag. Treat it like a religious symbol. I kid you not. Now this one's one of those ones that really it's not something that would stop you from moving there. It's just be forewarned about this one. Number six, bad history. Charlotte has a history of having bad history, if that can be a thing. Besides the more current history where their newly elected mayor back in 2013 was arrested on corruption charges three months after being sworn in, which is always a feather in Charlotte's cap, to the smallpox outbreak back when the first Europeans showed up. The Catawba Native Americans are the first tribe known to have settled in the Charlotte area. By 1759, half of the tribe was gone from smallpox brought over by the Europeans. While their population had once been about 10,000. By 1826, their population had dropped to 110. Thanks for the blanket. 
Number five, no mountains, no ocean. More and more people want to spend time in nature. I got bad news for the outdoorsy transplant residents to Charlotte. Charlotte isn't necessarily close to any mountains or beaches. The nearest mountains are the Smoky Mountains about three and a half hours west of the city, while the nearest ocean beach is about four hours east. And that's not good for people that like to get in a quick hike on the weekends. If you move here from Denver or let's say Portland, keep this in mind and be mentally prepared. Nobody wants to see a hipster crying on the side of a very flat hiking trail. Number four, traffic. Traffic, I know, I get it. It's on all these lists about major cities. Stop typing. But traffic in Charlotte will only seem horrible if you've never really experienced bad traffic before. Rush hour is, of course, the worst, but nowhere near places like New York City, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Boston. But it's getting bad. For example, driving from the middle of the city to the neighboring city of Matthews, which is only a 12-mile commute, will take you about 45 minutes during rush hour. That was a 30-minute drive, I'm told, 10 years ago. This kind of points back to the population thing. Either, either it will get worse and they'll do nothing about it, or they will do something about it, and it'll still get bad for about five years because they're doing all kinds of construction. It's like a no-win. Well, it is a win, but damned if you do, damned if you don't. Number three. It's haunted. The first Europeans came to Charlotte in 1755 and it became incorporated in 1768. In other words, the city's old, which of course that means it's haunted. Some places that are said to be haunted include the Kennedy Barn Grill, Lotta Plantation, and the Carolina Theater. Now, if you're into that type of thing, you know who you are. You've read all the Stephen King books, you dream about having Halloween on Christmas, and you tell all your friends that a psychic once told you you were at the Salem Witch Trials in a past life. You know, what is the deal with that? Why do these people always have such exciting past lives? You never hear something like, Well, I uh, guess I was a horse breeder in the 1700s, and I uh, I died when a horse decided to try and breed with me. I always wondered why I was afraid of horses. You know, it's always the exciting stuff. Nothing like some dude that got killed by his horse. Yeah, but, so, Charlotte's uh, haunted. Number two, weather. No one moves to Charlotte for the weather, and there's reasons for that. In the winter months, temperatures get about freezing, but rarely drop below 20. In the summers, it's hot, humid, and temperatures are usually in the 90s. It's generally cloudy and sticky year-round. The heat and humidity should shock nobody that knows about the South. And in case you missed it earlier, and you're a millennial, North Carolina is in the South. And the final blow to your plans to moving to Charlotte should be the Hurricanes. They've gotten some really bad ones over the years. They've even named their NHL team the Hurricanes. And number one, schools. There's about 126 public schools and 58 private schools in the city of Charlotte. The average test scores here are about 11% lower than the national average, while 82% of the residents have graduated high school, only about 40% go on to graduate from a four-year college. That's a really low number for an area with a crap ton of financial jobs. Like I said, they got all the fast food workers they need. Not that there's anything wrong with fast food. I did fast food once for like four hours. I just wanted to mark it off my bucket list. Now if I could find a cheerleader with a Freddy Krueger mask, I can get that one done. But hey, that's just me. But yeah, the schools, they're, they're not too good in Charlotte. You'd expect them to be a little better with the type of jobs they have to offer there. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Charlotte. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. As always, all in all, Charlotte is not a terrible place to live. These are just some things you should keep in mind before you move there. They got good people. It's an exciting city, a great new music scene. But hey, it's got its knocks just like every other place. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.